Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what's going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. My name is Jody Nisnik, host of the So Much More Scripture Meditation Podcast. And right after this short message from today's sponsor, we'll pray through today's prayer together. Matthew 16, 23. Jesus turned to Peter and said, You are seeing things merely from a human point of view, not from God's. Before Jesus said this, he had stated plainly that he would suffer many things, and then he was going to be killed. But Peter wasn't going to stand for it, and so he pulled Jesus aside and he started to rebuke him. Peter had good intentions. He was attempting to protect Jesus, his rabbi and his friend, from pain and suffering. But Peter's intentions were misguided. What seemed right and good to Peter wasn't actually the truest right or the best good. Think about it. What if Peter had succeeded in keeping Jesus from the crucifixion. This temporary relief would have created a ripple effect of devastating consequences that we'd still be reeling from today. Just like Peter, we need a bit of a perspective shift. We see things from our point of view, which is reasonable after all it is our reference point. But what if... We caught a glimpse of God's perspective. How might this change the way we pray? How might this change the way we wait on God? How might it change the way we receive the answers that we really didn't want? It's not that we shouldn't be praying bold prayers, asking God for what's on our hearts. God encourages us to do this in His Word. But after we pray these prayers... Maybe we can pause and also ask God to give us a different perspective than the one we've been clinging to. Jesus modeled this for us when he prayed in the garden, asking God if there was any other way to accomplish his will. But then Jesus, in trust and surrender, said, Not my will, but yours be done. It's a great reminder that God's ways are not always our ways, but His ways are always the best ways. So let's go to God now and ask Him to give us a glimpse of His perspective. Lord Jesus, thank you for this lesson from Peter's life. It's easy to identify with Peter in this moment knowing that we would also want to protect someone we love if we saw them walking toward pain and hardship. And yet in this moment, Peter standing in the way may have saved a moment of pain, but it would have created an eternity of loss. Lord, there are so many things that we long for and we've been praying for. Places where we need your help places where we deeply desire for you to step in and heal, restore, or solve a problem that we're facing. So right now, Lord, we ask that you would help us open our hands on these things. We confess that we only see them from our limited perspective, and we ask that you would give us a glimpse of your perspective. Help us to know and trust that even if we can't see why things aren't working out the way we deeply desire, that you are working them out for our good 
and your glory. Lord, would you help us remember a time when we wanted something deeply, but you had a different plan. And now, with the clarity that time often gives us, we can look back and we can see your plan was so much better than our own. And so, Lord, would you allow this memory to build our trust in you? Lord, would you help us just to take a deep breath and remember you're working it all out. And there will come a day when we will understand that your plan is better than our own. So help us in this moment to rest in that truth. We may not understand your ways, but we know we can trust you. And so we declare again, we love you. We do trust you, Lord. And we say, we want your will ahead of our own. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, it was a joy to be with you on your daily prayer today. And if you enjoyed this week's podcast, I'd love to invite you to listen in to the So Much More Creating Space for God podcast, where I release a guided scripture meditation every Monday. It's space to take a deep breath, experience the peace of God, and hear His Word as you reflect on what it means for your life right now. You can find a link in the show notes and in the Life audio feed. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.